For this tutorial, I want to talk about a starting point if you start noticing problems with your computer. Um, missing hard drive space, files not opening, saying that they're corrupt, uh, having trouble copying folders to another location. In other words, you take a file from one place, you put it in another place, and it's taking forever, it's going real slow. This is a starting point for that, and that's called check disk or scan disk. And you can start it by going to properties of your drive that's giving you the trouble, going to tools and saying check now. But the problem with this is that it's only going to scan a little bit. It's not going to go through everything it really should go through. And the only way to get it to do that is to do it before the computer even starts running uh, Windows. So you want to do it what they call a boot scan. And to do that, you want to go to start and I know I realize it's right there, but I want to show you the path for it. All programs, accessories, and you'll see it there, command prompt. Or you can go run CMD. And that brings you up the old little DOS looking screen. You want to go you want to change your drive location to whichever one's giving you the problems. If it was D drive, you say D colon. If it's the C drive can you trouble, C colon. What you then want to type is check chk disk dsk and you want to go space forward slash r and that's going to do a very thorough check when your computer boots up and when you hit return now it's going to try to do it it's going to tell you it can't be run right now because this drive is totally being used by the computer in every which way there's no way you can scan everything and that's the problem with doing it that is the problem with trying to do it through this way. This one will will just go through these scans, but it can't do nearly as much as it can get through if it's doing on a boot scan. So this is where you would say yes and press enter. And then this here, this is recorded with a standard video camera, so excuse the quality, but this is what you're going to see once the computer restarts. It's just going to do this simple scan. It's going to have five steps and it will take a while depending on the size of your hard drive so be prepared to just let it do its thing and walk away for a little while and the little slash r, I'm going to give you a list right now of what all the little extras are but the space forward slash r tends to do the most gives you the most thorough scan scans for anything that's going to go wrong and that's the one you pretty much want to use but I'll give you a list right now and you can pause it and read which each one does and again, this is just a sort of a starting point for, uh, for if you start having trouble with your hard disks, there's more thorough things you can do, but this is a good uh, place to begin. What I definitely want to add to this, though, is not to go buying any kind of softwares like that say they're going to scan your hard disk for errors. Um, the worst case I've ever seen of this in my life is Norton Disk Doctor. This is as bad BS as it can possibly be. You can click which one you're going to scan, and if you tell it to scan, it's going to start scanning, and it's going to basically do exactly what's, what your check disk, scan disk program built into Windows is going to do. And it's going to also tell you that, well, it can't do this function, it can't do that function until you reboot. The kicker is, once you tell it to reboot, to scan, you see that only the only thing that Norton is doing is actually running the check disk program from Windows. So when Norton says, oh, I need you to reboot so I can do a thorough scan, it actually reboots and scans with check disk the exact same way you would have done if you had not spent any money on this ridiculous program and just ran it yourself the way I showed you. So somebody had given me this. Thank God I didn't spend any money. Or they would have gotten an earful. Pretty much if there is some kind of an error with a bad sector or anything like that, scan disk, check disk, that's what's going to find it. You're going to find it that way first. So, it's completely unnecessary to go out and buy software like Norton Disk Doctor. Complete joke. 